I've seen plenty of people crossing Arizona's border, some of them hundreds at a time, and some do so through official ports of entry. Others, frustrated with the long wait for an asylum claim, cross into dangerous territory, like a river or the unforgiving desert. And as the brutal desert summer temperatures set in, the fear more parents and children could die. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius went down to the border for a story you'll only see on ABC 15 tonight. Border Patrol agents tell me that rugged desert areas like this one, where the fence ends, are now becoming popular places for these asylum-seeking families to come into the country. At this very spot, west of the Sasabe Port of Entry, Border Patrol was watching its thermal cameras earlier this month as 134 people walked into U.S. territory, some clearly children holding hands with adults. Virtually every day, they find some group of people that's here that's walks around the end of the wall. Humanitarian groups now leave water and canned beans here. They're just wanting to claim asylum. These are family groups coming mostly from Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador. They face long waits for asylum processing at some official ports of entry, but they can start the process immediately if they just can get over or under or around the fence and surrender. What do they say? I mean, they don't really say much. It's kind of understood. I'm, I mean, they're, they're surrendering to Border Patrol and, and they kind of know to just expect a, a free ride to the, the processing area. You know, they, they know we're going to pick them up. They, they see our, our vehicles and to them that's, that's their beacon of hope. Standing a few feet into Arizona can feel like a new life, but it's also chancing death, especially as summer temperatures soar over 100 degrees, little bodies unable to stand the heat. On June 14th, Border Patrol launched a search and rescue mission in the remote desert west of Lukeville in an area called Quito Baquito Springs. It was 108 degrees and they didn't make it in time. A seven-year-old girl dead. The little girl and her family were essentially dropped off on the border and left there by the smuggler. Now, at that point, there's no resources out in the desert for them. There, there's no water. They were told to surrender themselves to Border Patrol and it left them in an extremely vulnerable state. Just don't do it, it's not worth it. Even the Reverend Robin Hoover, a champion for migrants who makes guides for them, now has this warning. Stay the hell out of my desert. He hopes he can get the asylum seeking families to stop, think and wait, at least for cooler temperatures. In Sasabe, I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15 Arizona.